Hello everyone, welcome to MS Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to add Microsoft Intune Device Enrollment Manager and how to use that account to onboard device into Intune. The question is, what is Device Enrollment Manager and why do we need it? A Device Enrollment Manager is a non-administrator user who can enroll devices in Intune. Device Enrollment Managers are useful to have when you need to enroll and prepare many devices for distribution. User sign in to a DEM account can enroll and manage up to 1000 devices while a standard known admin account can only enroll 15. Do not get confused with Intune admin account and a DEM account. However, a device enrollment manager user cannot be an Intune admin. A DEM account requires an Intune user or device license. Remember, you do not create device enrollment manager, you just promote an existing user to be a device enrollment manager. In other words, the users must be already created before you designate them as a device enrollment manager. Using local admin account, user sign in to his device to enroll it. The account user used to enroll device will also get the admin access on that particular device. But if we use device enrollment manager to enroll the device, and then the user will not have the admin access on that particular device. Global administrators and Indian service administrators can add, manage and delete device enrollment managers in the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. First, we need to access and log into the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. You can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https colon double slash endpoint.microsoft.com. On dashboard, click on users. We will be on all users page. Here we can see the list of all the existing users. In this video, we will be adding our existing user taste DEM as a device enrollment manager. Click on taste DEM. First, copy the user's UPN. Later on, we will need it. Let's check the license status as well. Under Manage, click on Licenses. We can confirm that user has active Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5 license assigned to him. Click on Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5. Verify user has license for Microsoft Intune. We can confirm that Taste DEM has Microsoft Intune license assigned to him. Let me click on Users. We have another user account named Taste User 2. After enrolling the device, using the Device Enrollment Manager, we will sign in to the device using Taste User 2's credential. After that, we will check the user's account level on that device. Let's click on Devices. Under Device Enrollment, click on Enroll Devices. Click Device Enrollment Managers. At this moment, we haven't added any Device Enrollment Manager in our Intune. To add new Device Enrollment Manager, click on Add Plus icon. We need to enter the user's UPN name that will be our device enrollment manager. Paste the UPN which we have copied earlier. Click on add and wait for the confirmation message. We can see the confirmation message successfully promoted a user. That's it. This is how we can add device enrollment manager. We have added a new device enrollment manager in our Intune. This account 
can now enroll the devices. The devices enrolled by device enrollment manager comes with certain limitations. One important limitation is the capability to wipe the devices. The DEM user cannot wipe DEM enrolled devices on the device using the company portal application. Only the Intune admin has capability to perform wipe and that is through Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center only. The second is DM enrolls Windows 10 and Windows 11 devices in shared device mode. So device limit restrictions won't work on them. Instead, we can configure a hard limit for these devices in the Azure Active Directory Admin Center. And last, there is a limit of 150 DEM accounts in Microsoft to Intune. Now, let's try to enroll a Windows 10 device to Intune using the Device Enrollment Manager account. Let's go to our Windows 10 virtual machine. This is our Windows 10 virtual machine. We will enroll this Windows 10 computer in our Intune. Open command prompt and type command host name and press enter key. The host name of this Windows 10 computer is win10-dem. Click on start menu. Click on settings gear icon. Click on accounts. Click on access work or school. And then click on connect. Click on join this device to Azure Active Directory. You will be prompted to enter your Azure Active Directory user account credential. Enter Device Enrollment Manager's UPN which is dem at msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com. Click Next. Enter user's password and click on Sign In. Once you are sure about the organization as a ready domain you want to join, click on join. In our case, our organization name is msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com. This is the username and user type is going to be administrator. Click on join. This will begin the enrollment and will take some time to enroll the device into our Intune. Click on done to finish the process. The machine will now show that it is connected to MSF Surat's Azure Active Directory. We also want to confirm the device is successfully enrolled in Microsoft to Intune. Go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center web interface. Click on Devices. Click on All Devices. Here we are not able to see a newly enrolled Windows 10 device yet. So I'm going to click on refresh. The device is still not there. So let's go to our Windows 10 computer and let me sign out from there. So I'm going to close this. Uh, let me close command prompt and uh, let's sign out from this Windows 10 computer. This is the, our current local user account. Uh, let's click on sign out. Uh, we will use test user tools credential to sign into this Windows 10 device. On login screen, click on other user and let's enter test user 2's username which is user2 at msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com. Let's enter user password and press enter key to sign in using user true's user credential. The user profile creation process will be started and this will take some time to create our test user 2's user profile. In meantime, let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center and let me click on refresh again and let's see our device is there or not. And now we can see a Windows 10 DEM device is here, Win 10 DEM managed by Intune. Ownership type is corporate and compliance status is compliant. But here, the important thing is that we can see 
primary user upn is dm at msapsurat dot on microsoft dot com. So our device is there. So we can say a Windows 10 device has successfully enrolled in Intune using Device Enrollment Manager. Now let's again go back to our Windows 10 device. Uh, it is asking us to set up the pin. So I'm going to click hit on OK. We have enrolled this Windows 10 device to our Intune using Device Enrollment Manager. And now we have logged into this Windows 10 device using the credential of test user 2. Let's uh, click on start menu. Click on settings gear icon. Click on accounts. First, here we are not able to see administrator. Click on access work or school. At top, we can see message sign in as an administrator to change device management settings. This user is not able to disconnect this device from Azure Active Directory. Let me click on it. Here we can see the disconnect button is grey out. It is not available to this user. So DM account has administrator access on this device and other user will not get the admin access. Let me show you one more thing as well. Let's right click on start button. Click on computer management. Click on local users and groups and click on groups. Double click on administrators group. Here we can see a device enrollment manager is added in built in administrators group. That confirms DM account has administrator access on this device and other user will not get the admin access. So that concludes the video on how to add Microsoft Intune Device Enrollment Manager and use that account to onboard device into Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.